Hi boys and girls, it's Mrs. Catrone from SEM and I want to share a really great summer read with you. A couple of boys have their best week ever. Let's take a look. It's a Caldecott honor book too, so you know it's a real good read by Marla Fraze. Look at the end pages, isn't that fantastic? Different photographs of these boys having their summer adventure. A couple of boys have the best week ever by Marla Fraze. One hot summer day, James went on a long drive to Bill and Pam's house so he could go to a week of nature camp with his friend Eamon. Bill and Pam are Eamon's grandparents and they live at the beach. Eamon was already there. Nature camp was Bill's idea. Bill loved nature, especially cold, wild, and remote places <laughs> with hardly any people. He had been to many of these sorts of places before, but the place he most wanted to visit was Antarctica because of the penguins. Pam said she preferred people over penguins. Eamon thought this chat was fascinating, but he hoped James would arrive soon. Ding dong. And finally James did. With just a couple of his belongings, he had never been away from home for an entire week. So he was very sad when his mother drove away. Bye. The first thing Bill wanted to do before nature camp started was to take James and Eamon to the penguin exhibit at the Natural History Museum. Pam offered to pack a picnic of peanut butter and honey sandwiches. James and Eamon discussed their options. Do you want to go? No. They decided to stay home and enjoy Bill and Pam's company. In the morning, Bill took the boys to nature camp. The road was long and curvy. James and Eamon learned a lot of new vocabulary words while Bill drove. On the way back that afternoon, James and Eamon described their first nature camp day to Bill. I thought you were supposed to walk on a hike. Yeah, not stand and look after some flower for an hour. When they got home, Bill unrolled a large map of Antarctica on the living room floor. Pam gave James and Eamon coffee, ice cream, icebergs with hard chocolate sauce on top. Nature camp made the boys very hungry and it made them look at everything more carefully. <laughs> Bill brought the charts, tied charts, and a globe to the dinner table. Pam served banana waffles with maple syrup. The food is way better here than at my house. Mine too. At night, James and Eamon slept on a blow-up mattress with an automatic pump. Bill and Pam wondered if they would be lonely in the downstairs bedroom, but they weren't. Before they left for their nature camp the next morning, Bill handed them each a pair of binoculars and a list of birds to look for. On the way home, the boys reported their findings. His freckles are huge! Yeah, and his tongue is gross. As a nature camp week went by, James and Eamon practically became one person. They did everything together in exactly the same way. To save time, Bill began calling them Jamin. He would say, hey, Jamin, think about whether or not you want to see that penguin exhibit. And Jamin would think about it. Then in complete agreement, the campers would decide to practice quiet meditation downstairs. <laughs> Eat more banana waffles and enjoy the beach together. Want to go outside? Nope. Nature camp was just so great. And then on Friday afternoon, nature camp was over. James and Eamon recapped the week during the drive home. I think it should be called sit around camp. <laughs> yeah, or sweat a lot camp. On their last night together, Bill, Pam, James and Eamon had a popcorn party. James and Eamon soon discovered that a party with Bill and Pam could get pretty noisy. So they wandered outside for some peace and quiet. Tomorrow, they had to go home. They looked up at the sky and out at the ocean. For the first time all week, they couldn't think of anything to do. The sun went down, the stars came out. Then, at last, James and Eamon finally got real busy with something. And it turned out to be the very best part of the best week ever. 
In the morning, James and Eamon couldn't wait to show Bill and Pam what they had made. It's Antarctica. It's white rocks and icebergs, and the brown rocks are whales. And this big stick is a big stick. Oh, and that penguin there is Jamin, and he hopes he can be a nature camper again soon. Bill, Bill gave the boys a big hug. He said this was how penguins huddle together to keep warm. Pam said she preferred people hugs over penguin huddles. James and Eamon hugged Bill and Pam back, sort of. And when their moms finally arrived to take them home, James and Eamon gave each other the secret Jamin handshake. And then they walked like a couple of penguins all the way out the front door. Boys and girls, I hope you have a great summer adventure too.